Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, today I'm really tired, okay, because yesterday it was Sunday. Uh, it's been it's been the bank holiday weekend, okay, and yesterday, the 6th of May, we Ipswich Town played Middlesbrough in the final game of the season, all right. And I had a bit of a very late night last night. Um, got to bed at half five. <laughs> um, but yes, today it's the 7th of May, it's the day after now, and if you haven't seen my Borough vlog, which I uploaded last night, make sure you check it out, because I thought that was one of my best vlogs of the season, so make sure you do check it out, I will put it at the end of the video, um, and yeah, you can watch that. But this video is, it's just, it's nothing, nothing, it's not, this video is just going to be a clip of when I did an interview with Borough Fan TV because obviously I put Borough, I, I, I interviewed Borough Fan TV for my vlog um, but I also went in their video for their channel because they've got like a fan channel and I, I thought I'd go on it with my mate um, so yeah I thought I'd upload it to my channel um, because some of you probably well, I, I doubt a lot of you have seen it and I, I thought, I'd, thought I'd share it with you and I thought it was quite a good interview to be fair as well um, the, the guy who interviewed me is really nice, we get along quite well, um, and yeah, so enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new, um, I, I've got a lot of videos planned, okay, so, uh, yeah, it's, but I'm back, I'm back on the YouTube grind, alright, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave this video a like if you do enjoy it, and yeah, here is the interview. Guest D Butter Fan TV, I'm outside Portman Road. I have two Ipswich fans with me, Alex and RJ. Alex, we've met before. We have, yeah. You were a lot better than what you were at the Riverside, mate. Yeah, we were. Um, to be honest, before we came into this game, I wasn't expecting to get a point because obviously you're, you've been on good form recently. Um, so I, I thought we were going to lose today, but I was absolutely over the moon with our uh, performance. 2 all, 2 1 in the 90th minute. <sighs> Despite the draw, I'm, I'm, the season's been alright, but we've had our ups, we've had our downs, and we've just got to go again next season now. Um, obviously, McCarthy's gone. Uh, Brian Clug's done a good job whilst he's been there. I just hope next season's a better one, to be honest. Adje, last game of the season, your team put a performance in like that. Lifts your spirits, but it's a long time now at your next game, mate. It is a long time, but I think we've shown today what we can do, what we're capable of, but... Next season, of course, McCarthy is out. Going to get someone new and hopefully it's just a fresh start and have a season like you guys, hopefully. Uh, it's been a really good season for you, obviously, and see how you do in the playoffs, I guess. Freddie Sears. Tell us about Freddie Sears. All of a sudden, you don't hear nothing about him and, and then he's scoring against the Borough. Um, well, last week, I went to Reading um, and obviously he scored there. A uh, bit of a lucky goal, <laughs> header, open goal. Um, he was going to score it. Um, and I think after that goal... His confidence instantly rose. Um, so coming into this game, he was—I could tell—he was so energetic. He wanted to score, and he did. And we're all—we're all proud for him because he hasn't had the best season. Um, a few seasons ago, when we got playoffs, he had—he had the season of his life. He was scoring goals, game in, game out. Um, so for him to score in the last game of the season is just it, really good. Really good. Tortured Ben Gibson for your first goal. I think. Um, so what was the question? Freddie Sears, Freddie Sears absolutely no. tortured Ben Gibson on the first goal. Freddie Sears, like, just like Alex just said, like, he's, he hasn't had the best season. He's, last week I went Reading with Alex. Um, he just opened up. He, he's been quiet all season. He's just come out with a goal, which definitely boosted his confidence. And it just shows that what he's capable of. And he showed it today, I think. like He, he was playing a lot more confidently. And, and I think his first goal he, like, just proved himself, really. And his next season, hope to see more of him. Two neutrals. Borough are in the playoffs. We're going to be playing Aston Villa. After what you've seen today from Middlesbrough Football Club, how would you see our chances? Um, well, obviously, I've only seen us play you once this season because I didn't go to the away game. Um, but your squad, you've, you've got a strong squad. I mean, if you get to Wembley, you can definitely do it. You, you're, you've got a strong squad. You've got the likes of Asamba Longer and Bamford up front. Two experienced strikers. They're very good. They can finish their chances. Um, so... I do wish you the best of luck in the playoffs. I think you can do it with the squad you've got. It's just, it's down to how you play, to be honest. It's just, if you put in the performance, you're going to get the result. Villa, 
they're a strong side, of course. We did get beaten by them 4 0 what last home match, but personally for me, playoffs are completely different to the um, league. What, hap what happens in the league is fine, but comes to the playoffs, it's what you do on the day. And I think you definitely have got the potential to definitely go to Wembley and then it's anyone's game. Adja, Thank Alex, thanks for coming on Borough Fan TV.